last year has taught us a whole lot, not the least of which is the importance of making a difference and giving back to the community. Gibson Area Hospital and Health Services, they're celebrating National Volunteer Week. And Joshua Johnson, Director of Patient Access Services, and Kevin Seymour, Board of Directors, um, member, are here now with us. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Joshua, we're going to start with you because volunteer is such a great integral part of the system there at Gibson Area Hospital. It so is. we're honoring them this week. We are, and, and we want to say a huge thank you to all of our volunteers. Uh, they, they truly uh, support our organization. It has been an, an unprecedented year. Uh, we have over 170 volunteers that belong to our auxiliary group, and um, we couldn't do it without them. They're ambassadors to our organization, and they're, they're fantastic. Uh, from the top down, we have support uh, from our board of directors and administration, and, and Mr. Seymour is uh, part of our board of directors, but he's also a volunteer uh, and gives of his time, and we really couldn't do it without the, uh, without the, the hours that are given. Um, this year's Volunteer of the Year gave over 500 uh, oh, wow. persons hours uh, to to support our organization so it's been a fantastic uh, endeavor on her part and all of our volunteers this is national volunteer week so it makes sense that we'd be honoring them uh, this week what types of things do you have volunteers doing I'm assuming surgeries <laughs> they're everywhere uh, you know um, a, a lot of times the first smile you see are our smile greeters when you come into our organization so we have uh, volunteers who greet patients and visitors and escort them throughout the facility and uh, uh, man the uh, uh, information desk uh, our gift shop uh, we have a long-term care facility so our annex residents are very dependent on the volunteers to come in and and bring them little surprises and and treats and interact with them um, we have a very very active auxiliary group uh, and they do a lot of fundraising and then the funds that they uh, are able to raise then contribute back to the to the facility for um, really cool uh, new uh, gadgets and items that we need uh, for patient care wheelchairs uh, transport chairs um, they do a huge fundraiser uh, around Christmas every year with love lights a tree and then they use those funds to give back to our organization to benefit the communities that we serve so oh, yeah. lots of opportunities to volunteer Again. It does. Kevin, tell me a little bit about what you do there um, as a volunteer. Okay. Uh, well, I'm on the board of directors, which means that we have meetings and committee meetings and things like that. So we get a lot of information that we look over and, and uh, analyze and ask questions for. Uh, but I also, this year, uh, started, uh, we have an email earlier in the year that said, due to COVID, we're short on staff. Can you help? And I said, sure, I can, I can do something like that. So I volunteered and ended up being uh, in the housekeeping. So it's five or six hours a week. I mop floors and clean toilets and things like that. So I would imagine been, so many people would be surprised <laughs> that someone who's on the board of directors is yeah. also mopping the floors and cleaning, and the cleaning toilets. toilets. What, what, other than just seeing the need, what does it do for you to be able to play that type of role there at the hospital? It, you know, it's a win-win situation because I, I get benefit from it because I've ma it makes me feel good for what I'm doing. And uh, I work uh, from uh, 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock at night, and the hospital's nice and quiet, and I get to walk around and see everything and, and, and just enjoy the facility. Um, but from, um, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's okay. Absolutely does. But from the, the then for, as I related to the, the board of directors, um, you know, we have a lot of things. You, you put all your all into it, and whatever you do it, because it makes you feel great. And, and you know that it's helping the hospital. And you know when you're in the board of directors, you do all this work and you analyze and all these pieces. And when you're in, in the uh, housekeeping, you move the chairs when you mop because you want to do the right job. You want to leave things better than you found them. And uh, you clean the corners. That's the big thing. You know you want to make sure the corners are clean. So uh, there's a lot of similarities there. But it's it's a I really enjoy doing it because I feel like I'm giving back to the community and giving back to humanity. I'm sure you're able to bring some perspective to the board, too, that you wouldn't maybe otherwise I hope be so. able to bring. I hope so. Um, if because, you, if you, don't have those you know, there's a lot of people that you never see uh, who play a, such an important part in, in what's happening there. And I hope I bring that perspective and value them and talk to them and find out what their thinking is because uh, often you don't, they, they, their voices aren't heard. And their, and their faces aren't seen. And I'm sure with COVID, with people not being able, family members not being able to visit and be in the hospital, it's volunteers like you that maybe they did see their faces, right. smiling faces, and, and they could relate to them and right, right. feel comfort that right. way. So and that's how are things in the hospital? And we can tell them. So. Well, thank that's you great. guys for being here. I know you want to thank, thank your volunteers in the process. So 
We'll do that from uh, from our chairs as well. Do you need anybody to drive those golf carts? Because that looked like a lot Absolutely. of fun. Absolutely. Come on up. We've got all, right. all kinds of time. I'll handle the smiles at the front. This sounds like a perfect opportunity for both of us. We'll connect you with all the details about the Gibson Area Hospital at our website. There's a look at their Facebook page on your screen. Just go to CILiving.tv. I know, guys.